Yo, we back. Coming out here. It's my hood, by the way, okay? It's not the most. I mean, I know you guys thought I was living in. You know what I mean? You know, eight room mansions and had Lambos parked up front, but no, your boy lives in a humble two bedroom apartment. Anyways, we're gonna go to the whip and we're gonna find these finds. Walk with me, baby. Let's roll. Why did you decide to vlog your life? I don't know. This is fucking people were like, Dave, you're one of the coolest, greatest dudes of all time. And I was like, oh yeah? And they're like, dude, you should document that shit. I was like, all right. So it just, it went down like that. I don't know. You know, but anyways, back to where we were rolling. Yeah, look at that. We got the do dirt whip right here. You think I'm living lavish? You think I'm, nah. Oh. oh my god! Who's responsible for this? Let me check this out real quick. Oh my god! My god! It's seventy six dollars, bro. That's the fine money. I'm trying to say I got a five tax. Yeah, they expire. Hating ass city of Fresno. Done left me a ticket. Said I don't have tags. Said I don't have current tags. Anyways, sorry, it's hot out here, okay? It's crazy, the block is hot. But, they said we can't be mobile. They said we can't go out here and find these finds. But that don't stop us from making episodes. We're gonna have to take it underground. We're gonna have to go indoors. We're gonna have to make something happen. Cause you know what, the people are saying nacho. Drop another video. It doesn't matter what you do. Just drop one. So I'm about to give the people what they want. Let's roll. Italian chief. We're here to do the three most disastrous, most hideous, most horrible sneaker designs of recent times. Now, I might catch a lot of hate for this and people might be upset, but it had to be said. Cause these shoes is just ugly and I've seen people walking down the block with these and it's just like, why bro? Why? The Adidas Future Pacer. I'm a fan of the OG, the micro spacer. Now the micro spacer is nice, okay? It had a little stopwatch on the top that kind of counted like your steps and it had like a little little flap on top that hid the laces and it looked futuristic and it looked cool and they retro them around like 2005 era and they were pretty cool. I was like, ooh, I want a pair. Those were cool. You know, Adidas, I don't know what's going on with you. I mean, your core classics are nice, but I know the young guys, all they want is boost, boost, boost. And they pretty much just do boost they made it pretty much made like a micro spacer NMD and it looks terrible, okay? It looks like a flying saucer. I can't stand it. I, I'm, I'm not a fan. To me, that's a whack shoe. What they should do, all right, in my opinion, is if they want to add the new tech to the old shoes, it's pretty much just like encase that boost. Kind of like they did, like kind of like with the 700s. Because I like the 700s, believe it or not, all right? The easy 700s. Those are pretty nice. The Wave Runners, you have to encase it and give midsole. No more styrofoam soles. All right, no more like these big wide freaking ankles in the back, you know, it's just, it just doesn't look right in my opinion. That's my, that's my two cents. Number two on this notorious list is gonna be the Nike Air Bonafide. All right, Nike is known for innovation. Nike is known for bringing out, you know, models that are like, ooh, and they catch your eye and they're full of tech. Their quality sucks, all right? Don't let anybody lie to you. Just because you push into the leather and you see a tumble does not make it a quality shoe, sorry. The Bonafide is hideous, all right? The Bonafide is a Jason Kidd on a sock, and it goes up all the way to your ankle and covers it, and it's just terrible, all right? They were like $49.99 at Burlington's and at Ross, and I can see why they ended up there. The little orbs on the Zoom, you know, the Zoom sole is cool on the Jason Kidd, but once you put a sock on top of it, and then it, and then the multicolored ones were like probably like the most hideous ones. 
once you do that, you, you just, I don't know. I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know what to think when I seen it. I was like, this is, this is hideous. No laces, no nothing. Maybe with laces, it might even look okay. But just the sock, just, it looks like a, like a Balenciaga, like the little sock one. Those are pretty ugly too, but it looks like one of those, just a basketball version of it. And it's just terrible. The Balenciaga Triple S. This is a terrible shoe. I don't know why you guys started calling chunky sneakers or retro runners dad shoes, okay? Just because they're chunky. I don't know where it came from. I don't know where the Monarch became popping and ironic, but it is, I don't know, Balenciaga just said, we're gonna run with that, all right? And they made a freaking shoe, a clunky looking shoe. It's got three soles for one. I don't know if that, maybe that's why they call it the Triple S. They're heavy, I held them in person. The colorways are garbage and they're ridiculously expensive. I think they're like 800 or 700 bucks. I'm not sure, cause I would never drop that kind of money on shoes. Money cannot buy style or coolness, no matter what, all right? I don't care what you say. You can be decked out in preem, all kinds of other dumb stuff, but it just can't, all right? Those shoes are hideous. You know they're hideous. If you bought them, quit lying to yourself, donate them or sell them because 10 years from now, or even two years from now, or even six months from now, you're gonna be laughed out on the block when you see those. I mean, I, I get it. I mean, I understand why I got the ticket and stuff like that. I mean, you, you understand that you're putting like a huge burden on the whole Ross Fine movement. Oh, okay, well, check this out, all right? How about I throw in an autographed picture of myself. I'll sign it to anyone you'd like. And on top of that, I'll throw in a little Ross Fine in there for you. Yeah? Yeah, you just make this go away? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. What time do you guys close? Five? I'll be down there by five. Okay? All right, thanks. Boy, sure pay to know people, you know what I mean?